I also made a decision around who I am and who I really wanted to be. And I'd been trying for so long to hide a little bit. I was a little bit scared of truly stepping into my life. I was a little bit afraid of truly standing there and saying, well, this is me and this is what I believe and this is what I want to do. Who else has delved down their dreams for a little bit of fear before? Thank you for being so honest. So I made a decision. I made a decision that I was going to impact more. And the way I chose to do that was through online means because it made a lot of sense that hang on, if I could create the impact that I was creating in person, why can't we leverage that now in this day and age to create more impact and reach more people by doing this online? So that's when I started shifting all of my teachings and all of my coachings and all of my learnings online. And at the same time, I chose to really honor my message. And I did this by stepping into a personal brand, by going, okay, no more hiding. No more, no more hiding behind brands, no more hiding behind companies, no more hiding behind people and actually going, I'm Regan and this is my message that I was born to share with the world and I'm here to impact millions and raise millions at the same time and be okay to stand in that light because sometimes it's scary, right? Sometimes you feel like you're a little bit alone and are you noticing that the level of comfort through these levels of impact get more and more and more and more uncomfortable? Hence, you have to grow more and more and more and more. So stepping into that was a big move, but it felt awesome at the same time. We have just come back from being about two hours south of LA, and we've been filming for an EPK, which is an electronic press kit. I didn't even know what an EPK was, to be honest, a couple of weeks ago, until it was suggested firmly that I have one. So we got so much done today. I mean, we did a photo shoot for some new images for my website. I had a book signing there for my new Be Your Brand book, which was awesome. And I also delivered a keynote on impact. So it was absolutely jam packed. But the whole purpose of doing the EPK and the whole purpose of really this whole trip to America is very much, you know, increasing the exposure and the visibility of my brand which in turn obviously is going to increase my impact so massive day a little bit exhausted but feeling really good we are driving back to Hollywood Hollywood we have just wrapped up the keynote the book signing the meet and greet it's all pretty epic Regan what are some common self-sabotaging behaviors that a lot of people maybe are unaware of, unconscious of, but that they're, that they're doing. What are some? Yeah, look, there's so many and they show up through all areas of life, regardless of where you're at. I think there's one core thing that so many people are unaware of when you're moving towards a goal and, and you get so close to achieving that goal and then all of a sudden, you sabotage it in some way. You know, you, you take some sort of action which destroys the relationship or you're so close to that health goal and then you blow out and you eat all the food you weren't meant to. And what we need to understand is that our brains can't see what's on the other side of that goal. So we process it as fear and mm. we process it as unknown. And we're wired to keep ourselves safe. So if we can't condition to what's on that other side, oh, we literally go, okay, well, I'm just going to do whatever it takes to ruin this. No, so. that's big. She just says something very powerful. We're <laughs> wired to seek what's safe. How do women make bad decisions in the pursuit of safety? Mm. Oh, this is good. Go, go, eat. Just go ahead. Yeah, right here. yeah look, I, I think it's <laughs> massive. I think it's absolutely massive, and I see it in a lot of women, and, and they are, you know, unconsciously looking for that safety. Mm. But then what happens is that they find it, but they're not necessarily in alignment with what they actually want in a relationship. Mm. So all of a sudden, they do anything they can to destroy it, ultimately. And then the poor guy on the other side is like, what's going on, <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> you know, he's at the effect of all this. So I think it's a, a huge challenge. And, and one that so many women are completely unaware of that's actually going right. on. What is the number one reason people don't learn from their mistakes? Oh, look, I really think it's the ego. I think people need to get out of their own way. And there's so many people where that ego consumes them and controls them and they get stuck in this place of thinking they know better. And I think once they break through that, you know, that's the place where all of a sudden they can see the other options that went around. So what's a 
tip for people breaking through their ego? I guess it's first recognizing it's operating. Right. What other tips? Yeah, absolutely. So it's recognizing it's there. Secondly, I would say go and learn from people that have worked through their ego and really go and get into their mindsets and their behaviors and, and look at how they make their decisions and run their life and go from there and then start to model that until it becomes automatic and unconscious. Awesome. Yeah. Welcome. That's it. Coming live from our Uber, and we're going uh, <laughs> heading heading down to a um, a beautiful dinner with Regan's publicist. It's like 3 p.m. Yeah, it's, it's an early early dinner, and we're on our way to Venice Beach. You know, beautiful Venice, Los Angeles. We want to talk about why people, you know, struggle with getting their message across and being well, able. Well, the topic is right. Don't don't die with your greatness in you. You, you've had success in a lot of areas of your life since you were born. I think about 20, 20 minutes you were successful. <laughs> it's so, not true. so, you know, with your, so you've done many companies and you know you've um, changed so many people's lives. What is your main motivation, and, and how have you sustained that confidence to do something else and absolutely smash it? What is my main motivation? Well, here's the thing. I think motivation changes. Hey, Vicky. Hey, welcome. Hey, so I think motivation changes as you grow and develop and change. And I also think it's okay to to be all right with whatever it is that you're motivated you know, by, basically. So to answer your question right now, you know, what's motivating me is impact. What's motivating me is how many more people's lives can I change. What's motivating me is how much more of an impact can I make on not just a small scale or a community scale, but on a freaking global scale. Like that is what is really important to me right now. We have just arrived at Crystal Cove. It is so seriously, seriously beautiful here. I've never been here before, but I'm blown away. And you know, my, my expectations of beaches are fairly high. So it's really beautiful here. So we're here purely just to get a little bit more footage for the EPK, some lifestyle shots, walking down the beach. We had series take productions here doing the production. And I'll tell you what, these guys are smooth operators. They are absolute pros and definitely know what they're doing. So we're getting some shots there. And also we have a drone, which is doing overhead shots, which is gonna come through and get some really cool angles from up above. And and yeah, it's been another big day with a lot of driving, so I'm secretly really looking forward to having a beautiful dinner and maybe a couple of drinks on the beach later tonight. Okay, we have just got back from lunch and I have a call right now with my launch manager and we have a really exciting big launch coming out which is called the Online Empire Builder, which is all about helping people pull out their unique message that they're born to share with the world and then showing them how to develop it, launch it and accelerate it online. So it's a 12 week course, but there's a, there's a lot of action that happens in those 12 weeks. So we're looking to, um, to impact a whole lot of people through this when we launch it out. So chatting to my launch manager right now to get into the nitty gritty of how it's all going to work. It's, um, it's definitely an area where um, it's not my strong point putting stuff like this together. So I'm really grateful to, to have someone amazing actually on my team and, and doing this for me or with me, I should say. Just heading down to the pool at the hotel right now. I have a call with my mum and dad. I love chatting to them. Obviously so grateful for Skype and technology. So I'm gonna check in with them. And then I'm gonna spend the time doing some mindset work and just some outcomes that my coach has given me to work through. You know, I do my mindset work every morning without fail, but I find if I have a spare, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes throughout the day, I definitely grab that and I do more mindset work purely because it's the thing that generates the biggest results in my life and my business. So excited to get into that straight after a call with mum and dad. We're here in Santa Monica, one of my favorite places in America. I love the beach and the lifestyle and the vibe and the energy here. It's Lee's birthday, so we're taking him out for a little bit of shopping and a little bit of beach and maybe a drink. And then we have a secret surprise dinner planned for him later this night. Shh, don't tell him. We are in Brisbane, we are nearly in Bali. I am replying to emails, I had over 200, I am now down to 69. It's very important that you always have two phones on the go and your laptop. Come on Bali. We are on the plane, getting to Bali. We're doing mindset work, really, really deep mindset work. 